Hey guys, Keith here. I wanted to brief you on a couple of changes that are coming in 2020.23. Both of them are, are quite significant. One's got some utility and the other one's going to impact on you and some people are going to be upset about it, but it's just one of those pain points that we're going to have to go through. I'll touch on the first one. The first one's are up here. We've changed the show directory. There used to be a button on the end here for subfolders. They've now all disappeared uh, appropriately into the preferences, mostly here under sequences where you can change the FSCQ directory, the media directory, and the render cache directly. So they're all nicely hidden away in there rather than occupying a space here. But what I've done is I've I've the change button is now called change permanently and there's now this concept of change temporarily. And we've we've seen a number of people over the years who who basically lose their show folders. And you know, typically we see posts saying, oh, I've lost my show folder, I cut oh, I've lost all my models, all my layouts gone, etc. And invariably it's because they've lost their show folder. And that's because they're often going through the import process. And as many of you know, the import process typically requires you to change your show folder to point to a show folder that you're importing from and you know, render most importantly save and then go back to your show folder and through that process they find themselves lost choose a different folder all their models are gone etc so it's quite confusing and so i'm introducing this concept of changing the show folder temporarily this does exactly the same thing as change permanently but once you change it here temporarily, first of all, it will make it clear that it's temporary. The color of this text will change. Uh, this button will also change back to a uh, to a restore to take you back to your show folder. So you can just with one single click, just go back to what it was. And more importantly, if you close X lights down and restart it, it will go back to being whatever your permanent show folder was. So it doesn't um, leave you uh, in this confused state and unable to get you back to your show folder. And it really is as simple as this. You click on it, you choose a show folder, here's a test one of some sort, and you can see it's changed to it, and it's changed the color of the text here to a, a sort of an orangey color, which indicates that it's currently in a temporary state, and there is this button here that will restore it to permanent. This layout's not mine. Um, and if I click on restore to permanent, it goes back to my folder and my layout. So hopefully that's a lot easier for particularly new users to use when they're doing the import process and not get themselves uh, lost in terms of the show folder. The other change that we've made, and this is the one that will upset a few people, uh, is we've uh, changed uh, the file extension. You'll see now that in my folder here I have some XS Q files. Uh, these are the new sequence files. They're no longer the animate, no longer the XML files. Uh, we're now going to be using the XSQ, uh, which is now specific to X Lights. You can see that it's actually got the X Lights icon against it. If I was in Windows Explorer and double clicked on that, it would actually open up X Lights and and allow me to edit uh, uh, that sequence, assuming that my show folder was set appropriately. If it wasn't, it would generate a lot of errors and warnings and the like. But yeah, most people don't have that problem. The way the conversion process will work is if I come here and open my song, right now it's showing me both XSQ files and XML files, and we will leave it that way for some time. Eventually, the XLights files will just be the XSQ files, and then there's this other one here for old XLights files, which will show you the XML files. So you'll always still be able to open them. It's just that over time, it by default, it will, we will eventually change it. So it just shows the, the current formats. Uh, but we'll give it a fair while, probably a year maybe. Uh, so let's open up a sequence. So here is a sequence. Now, if I just close that sequence and don't save it, and I go back and I try to open a sequence again, you can see that Amazing Grace is still there and it's still an XML file. So that's all good. However, if I do come up here and save the sequence, and now I go back and do a, a file close, and then do a file open, 
you will see that the Amazing Grace uh, file has been changed to an XSQ file and the XML file has been removed. So it will convert your XML file across to the XSQ file and save it when you save it. Now, the file formats themselves are identical. There, there's no difference. You could actually go into your folder and rename all of these XML files to the XSQ file and it will work. Uh, we're just not doing that. We're going to let you convert them across as you change them rather than going in and just renaming them all. And the reason we don't want to rename them all is there's no way for us to be sure that all of your XML files are actually sequence files. In fact, of course, we know uh, that your RGBFX file and the like is, is of course, not. Um, and this is one of the major reasons why we do want to move to a, a proper extension. It's, it's long overdue. Uh, not having the XML files means that you do end up with files in here that you can't actually open as sequences. And again, that's something that does generate some confusion that we'd like to stop. And so moving to a new uh, file extension is a, is a great way to do that. So I, I know some people will get upset about that. They'll find it confusing. It'll be, where did my files go? Hopefully the fact that they all show here by default will, will minimize that confusion. Uh, but, you know, and I'm sure there'll be a, a number of posts in the Facebook group from people saying what's going on. And I'm sure all of you will lean in and help and point them in the right direction um, and get people uh, up to date. The backups uh, will back up those files. Oops, I'm looking at a very old backup file there. If I go to... Uh, where are we? Yeah, if I go into here, you'll see it backs up both the XMLs and the XSQ. So you, you're not going to have any problems from a backup perspective. Everything does continue to get backed up just as it did before. You're not going to lose anything unless, of course, you've got your backup settings wrong. So, yeah, I just want to give everyone a heads up um, as soon as the release comes out that that's going to be the case. Thanks, guys. <music>